For Doppler and M modes, the first thing you'll want to do typically is press the MD cursor. Make sure you're in a live image so you can scroll it around. And here, you can move it to wherever you'd like to move the cursor before you get into Doppler mode. This allows you to see a better 2D image. Before you do that, you can also use your angle correct. And notice your angle is shown right here. And quick angle, adjust it quickly by 60 degrees. So to enter M mode, we just simply hit M. And we have our M line right there. Again, down along the bottom, we have all the various parameters that you can change. And by clicking to the right here, you'll see there's an additional set of parameters for adjusting that image. I'll go back to B mode. I'll hit my MD cursor. Get my angle. Now I'll go into pulse wave Doppler. Now I have the auto calculation set, and you can see that it's following along there. As I show in a measurements video, you can make changes to where that, whether you have the auto calcs on or not. Up here, we can choose what auto calcs we want to show up on the screen right now. I've only got pulse, peak systolic and end diastolic selected, and that's what's going to show up here. If I add more, it's going to show up on there and go directly to the report. And you'll see now it has done a trace of that because it's not just looking for the peak and end, end diastolic. We can use that to save as default or go to return. Again, if you don't like the trace always there, you can just tell it to only do it in a frozen mode. Or you can turn it off completely. Now, there's also a set of parameters, and sometimes you'll see that menu and you won't know how to get back to it. I suggest going back to B mode by pressing B, hitting PW again. It'll maintain the cursor, and you can go up here, and here you have a whole selection of parameters as we showed in 2D mode. Dynamic range, rejection, timeline, trace method, if you want to go to max, mean, or off. Trace sensitivity, and a whole slew of different things that you can do. I've got duplex set to on. And I can go up to the top where it says PW mode, click to the right, and it's going to give me parameters that can change B mode. If I was in color, if I keep clicking to the right, it would show PW and color and B mode up on that menu. And again, the menu will just disappear if you don't touch anything for a while. Going back to this standard PW mode, here we have our sample volume length. So this will change your gate size here. You can press down and adjust the frequency of the Doppler, and you'll see that this changes down here. And that little beep you're hearing means I've gone to the maximum setting on that parameter. Sweep speed, the angle steer, you can twist here, you can change the angle of that Doppler line. Angle correct, we'll twist and change that angle as it did on the others. Quick angle, adjust it by 60 degrees at a time. Adjust your baseline, you can click to invert. Pulse repetition frequency, your wall filter. And then these are all B mode imaging settings. So you'll see here it says B mode. If I click to the left, it says PW mode. So that's going to tell you exactly what parameters you can adjust when you get there and what the active parameters are. Now, if you want triplex mode, again, we'll get into this utility setup real quick. Go to utility, go on up top to imaging, and then, sorry, imaging, then general. And here, we'll click on duplex, save, exit. Now, I'll go to post wave Doppler, add color, and then when I go up to this menu here, it shows that I have triplex on. There's a number of ways to go about doing that, but that's the way to make sure that you can get triplex every time. 